Hello YouTube, welcome back to our series on using bluegrass standards to grow. Clinch Mountain Backstep, one of my favorite jam tunes, can be such a great vehicle if you noticed in the version of this that I'm playing, maybe even overdoing it a little bit on the slides, hammer-ons, and pull-offs, all important parts of our technique that we can sneak in to this tune. Welcome to Wayne's World of Mandolin. If you didn't subscribe already, I hope you will. And visit the channel and often. You can reach out to me for one-on-one -on -one Skype lessons through an email that I'm going to leave in the description of every video that I put up here. So right into Clinch Mountain Backstep. Most of you, a good number of you, may already play this melody. And there's a good bit of technique that we can work on through the melody, I'm going to try to demonstrate in one line, kind of building this tune up. So if I took the first melody line, look how those, those notes are so simple. They're all, every note that I'm playing with my left hand is on either the third or the fifth fret. Now watch what's going to happen as soon as I begin to double the strings. There, all I did was play through both pairs of strings, the A and the E strings, and play the same melody. Here they are, doubled. Okay, now I'm going to add that slide on the front of the tune. Into the next melody line. I'm not worrying about trying to stay in any position, or I'm just using these two fingers. Let's look at that last melody line of the A part. A slide up to this double note at the seventh fret. And again here, fifth fret to seventh fret on the D string. And when I play that note, the melody note that's happening on the D strings, I'm playing all the way through. And if you're not doing that, this could sound so small. Now the difference. Alright, so if you're used to this tune, if you can hum the tune already, notice if you've checked out some of my other videos, especially the closed position blues scale video, if you were to play an A blues scale in a closed position starting on the 7th fret, if you're not following that concept, check out the closed position blues video to kind of catch up a little bit on this fundamental. And, and we're not just playing out of that shape because we have open notes also. But this is one of those cases where the A major scale doesn't really feel like it's the foundation of what we're playing at all. And, and this isn't the kind of tune where you really want to talk about it in terms of intervals or anything like that. You should just be able to feel this on your mandolin and to find those notes. But notice that they are basically happening on the fifth and third fret. And then the other times when I move up, it allows two things. It allows the bigger sound of the pairs of strings to be doubled, and it also enables me to slide into that E note. If I just play it on the E string open, there's no way to make that embellishment happen. It has to be slid on the A string. And it's also cool, because when I start that slide, I'm playing through both pairs 
and then moving up to the E note there. And it creates almost a fiddle kind of sound on the mandolin. So this is a great melody to play, but we're really making a bigger deal than this melody out of it with some of these embellishments that we need to get used to with our left hand. Now on the B part of the tune, they got, this is a, a great right hand thing. We're gonna go from this rhythm feel of playing through all three pairs of strings to an open E string. So now we're down to the precision of that one string after the rhythm feel. Here we have a pull off. I think that works great with this melody. And even if you're not into that as part of the melody, you can still use this as a way to practice that technique. So I'll take some off of the tech of the tempo there. So you could substitute hammer on or a slide. Now for the B part, we're finding that pull off. So we've got those three techniques as part of this melody. You have slides, hammer-ons, and pull-offs happening in the context of the melody. These are hard to practice in um, through like a series of rehearsal type things or what we would think of as an exercise. I never felt like I grew that much with these techniques using an exercise kind of approach to do it, it needs to have the sensibility of being placed into a melody, if that's the right way to say that. But hopefully you enjoy the tune. I think that's going to provide a good breakdown of where the melody is happening on the mandolin, a particular scale that can help you get there if you're not really feeling that connection to the fretboard to play this, as well as some really good technique things that we can all stand to work on. So... I hope this helps, and Clinch Mountain Backstep can be one of the tunes you put a check mark next to, not only to be able to play the tune, but to also use it as a vehicle for your overall mandolin play.